All right, so this is my Samsung SSD. It's an 860 Evo, 500 gigabyte, and it just died. So what happened was <clears throat> I have an eSATA plug um, adapter in my desktop computer um, so that I can pop in SATA drives um, just to format them or whatever, just so I don't have to open up uh, my case to get to it. And um, in the process of doing so, uh, killed this drive somehow. Uh, even though multiple times plugging it in and out, I was able to format the other drive that I was working with and read it and everything, pop it out, um, pop it back in, everything's fine. I was working on a PlayStation 3 drive. Uh, so, I don't know, one of those times just was a, not enough, you know, this thing just gave out. Um, don't exactly understand why, but I've been checking it out and I wanted to show you something, what I've learned. Okay, so... This is um, the SSD. I took it out of its case. Um, and I actually already checked it out with a thermal camera. And there's one spot that is getting heat. And that's this guy. right here uh, so I did some googling and I found out that that's called an e-fuse and you have 5 volt in here and out here um, there's no continuity right now between 5 volt in and out so the fuse is blown and I also noticed that if you look at a SATA pin out, you can see that um, 5 volt, which should be some of these in the middle here. So, 1, 2, 3, uh, some grounds, and then there's some 5 volt right here. And it's 50 ohms resistance. So, it's shorted there. So, I think. The fuse has failed and it needs to be removed to see if I clear that short. And if so, then I can temporarily jump the 5 volt in and out to see if the drive is working again. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to get some hot air and I need to protect this SATA connector somehow. Maybe this blade will help. Okay, turn on my hot air. Okay, got that off. See if I melted the plastic. Nope. All good there. Now I need to check for shorts. Again, I pull up my image again. I already forgot. Okay, so these three should be ground, and then the next three should be five volts. No short. That cleared the short. So the fuse blew because of the, the hot swapping that I was doing. I don't know if that's... I don't think that should have damaged anything, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe um, everything was working correctly and it was, it was damaged um, because of that. Or maybe this drive just reacts weirdly to hot swapping. I don't know. Also, hot swapping was disabled in my BIOS, if that matters. I also don't know. Okay. 
So the next step is to bridge the five volts in and out here and here and see if the drive recognizes. So I'm gonna put some leaded solder on here. Just a little bit of flux. You know, I could just attach it to the side of this capacitor, it doesn't matter. Get some flux. Okay, there it goes. Let me just snip this. Whoa, there goes all that. Okay, that doesn't look amazing, but I think it's connected now. Okay, clean it up a little bit. Yeah, if that wasn't connected, it would have fell off. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, now... The moment of truth, which I can't really show you, but I'm gonna... Plug it in and see what happens. Guess what? I'm in Windows. It worked. Here it is. You can't actually see it. Uh, that's crazy. So, don't be hot swapping SATA stuff with the Samsung 860 Evo. And when it's not, when hot swapping is not enabled in the BIOS, or maybe just don't hot swap at all when you have this Samsung drive, I don't know exactly what happened. But now I just need to get another e-fuse, I guess, if I can find that. Um, because right now, what it, the fuse is not doing anything. There's no fuse. It's just not protected right now, just because uh, I shorted the 5-volt. Um, so, yeah. Awesome.
So one more thing I wanted to add. Um, I found the part, well, one part that's really close to it. I think it will work fine. Um, and I want to show you just the, the number here. So I just ordered a replacement part from Mouser. Um, STEF4S is the number that uh, I found on various websites, but this is the one I was able to actually find, STEF4S PUR spur. So there's that information for you. Hope that helps.